So if you want to paint on this cog model, you just need to have the UV maps prepared. And um, as you can see, I'm applying the stroke now. It's just a messy stroke, but that's not the point. You can see that uh, I can paint on it. And now uh, let's see the 2D representation of it. Basically, uh, even if you paint on 3D model, the data is actually stored on this uh, 2D representation of it. So it's like a peeled fruit, right? So I'm painting on 3D and you can see how it's applied on the left side on this reference box. So I'm painting more and more and you can see all those strokes are uh, basically appear on the this reference box. So you can see more I'm changing the color maybe to make it more visible like that and you can see I made this ring and it's like applied on the left side in the reference. So yeah. Uh, let's see how it will look uh, in a blender first uh, start with a simple model and then with this cog so the cube first because it's simple and you can see uh, it's already uv mapped by default in blender actually and you have this like cross uh, shape uh, with uh, six faces and as i'm selecting the faces on the right side you can see they are selecting on the left side too with this uh, UV mesh basically. Okay, time for a cog. And as you can see, it's the same model I used in Procreate. Here is the mesh and it's of course more complex than the cube. You can see on the left side there is a UV mapping already. I have prepared it before and when I select the faces, you can see they are selecting on the left side too and the same here so and here so you can just you know like select and check what is what the red overlays over some edges are basically a places where the cuts were made because you have to map this uh, 3d surface into 2d surface on the left to this uv you know coordinates and uh, yeah it's like a peeled fruit and in the next video, I will show you how to make it yourself. So stay tuned. Bye.